Welcome back guys, time for another vlog and today I have a couple of things that I need to sort so I let you tag along. It's not so much of a DIY how to video but at the same time I think it should go somewhere so let's have it here at least. The main task today is about my excavator that is over there. Uh, that one have a couple of problems so let's get that one driven into the shedding set. The first issue we have here is the tilt here. This one is tilted and it has um, hydraulic uh, locking for the bucket. And it's controlled by this device here, or this cord here. But there is no power to it. So basically I cannot tilt, I cannot change buckets with a hydraulic lock. I need to do it manually. So what we need to figure out is where does the power end, because there is no power in the machine. The bottom controlling it is sitting here. And it should be beeping when it has power, but it hasn't got any power right now, so it's not beeping when you turn it on or turn it off. So we need to figure that out. The cable that goes down here, here's the grey cable that goes down, and it goes underneath the mat and everything here. I have checked the button itself already, or the switch, and that one is fine. There is two bolts, one in this corner and one up in that corner. So let's start by removing this one. And this is the first one, the second bolt is already removed and we should now be able to lift the cabin, and we are. But before we can lift the cabin up, we need to remove this seat. When we lift this one up now, There's a locking device on this end, but for some reason the bolt is not there. So we need to find something else to jam in. Like that. After opening it up and removing everything, here we have the connection. It, ha it has its own fuse, but it is connected on another fuse down here. And that one, when I put something in, blows directly. So there is a short somewhere causing that fuse to blow. The question is if it is in this lead here or somewhere else. I doubt it is in this lead because this one has a 7.5 amp fuse. Meanwhile that one down there has a 40 amp. So if it would have been the cable here that's causing the, the, the short, this fuse here should have blown first, or at least very very earlier, because this is 7.5 amp. We're going to take a look at and see what's going on and where this fuse actually ends up. And these are the end there. I've, I think a foundation now. I was looking around a little bit. So let me see if I can... In this end here is a lightning uh, or a cigarette lighter. That one had inside of it several bolts 
So some kid most likely put them in there or someone else and that shorted everything out. And then the next guy that rented it most likely put up a 40 amp fuse or something, I don't know, and perhaps didn't remove it. I removed the cables here now, so this won't happen and I will be taping them. So let's test this out now to see that this actually works. I have a 20 amp fuse here now instead of a 40. The main brake here is added. Before the fuse broke directly when I put it in. It's now in. So if I press the button now, you can hear the annoying beeping sound and that means it is now working. So just to be sure, let's fire this machine up and see that it is working and that I can tie the bucket on. So basically that is working, so it's now time to put the machine together again, so we don't have this nasty mess, so let me do that.
So that's basically it for this video. As you can see, the machine is now working. But before we go, there is a couple of things, as I said, there's two more things that I need to fix with this machine. And the first of all is that it doesn't shut off. And that's because of the diesel pump. There is a, a small thing that isn't going back, so to say, but I need to fix that lever so the electronic shutdown does work. The other one is that when you turn this machine all around, there should be a brake breaking it so it doesn't turn by itself. That brake is not working properly. It's not a big deal because you can run the machine anyways, but I want it fixed. Other than that, new paint of course. I have paint standing ordered for this machine. The same colors, everything already done. I just need to get some time to actually do the painting. And that will be a later project, hopefully in the winter. So guys, I want to thank you guys for actually joining me today. I like this machine as you know. Uh, I will be doing a couple of videos with it, I hope. Let's see about that. Uh, but for now, I'll see you next time. Bye.